Welcome to WQLN PBS Homeroom. My name is Miss Valerie, and I am so glad that you are here with me today. Me too. Yes, and I love to teach. One thing I love about teaching is teaching kids like you how to have healthy habits. And dinosaurs. That's right, and dinosaurs. I brought along my little baby dinosaur, Rexy, to help us with our lesson today. Can you say hi, Rexy? Hello. Can you say hi to Rexy? Well, Rexy, do you think that you remember what we're going to learn about today? Oh, oh, I do. We're learning about healthy habits. And do you remember which healthy habit we're focusing on today? Oh, oh yeah. We're learning about how to keep our teeth healthy. That's right. That's right. We're learning about healthy habits and how to keep our teeth healthy. And we're even going to do a little science experiment today about why it's important to brush your teeth. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yes, I love science experiments, don't you? Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, how do you take care of your teeth? What do you have to do? Do you know? Oh, I know, I know. You have to brush your teeth. That's right. You have to brush your teeth, right? And what do you use to brush your teeth? Oh, I have a toothbrush. Do you have a toothbrush? I have a toothbrush too. Mm -hmm. I have a dinosaur toothbrush. A dinosaur toothbrush, of course you do, because you're a dinosaur. Yeah, I love dinosaurs. Me too. I have a purple toothbrush. What kind of toothbrush do you have? Oh, that sounds like a nice one. Yeah, I like, I like bubble gum toothpaste. Oh, so you use toothpaste and you like bubble gum. I like mint toothpaste. Mm. And it makes your mouth feel all clean and healthy. What kind of toothpaste do you like? Mm, that sounds good too. Well, I'm wondering, do you know how many times a day do you think that you should brush your teeth? Oh, oh, I know you gotta brush your teeth in the morning. Oh yes, brush your teeth in the morning. That way you won't have dragon breath. Oh yeah, you don't wanna have dragon breath. That's right. So you have to brush your teeth in the morning. When else do you brush your teeth? Oh, oh, you always have to brush your teeth if you have something with sugar, like cupcakes. That's right, right. If you have something with sugar or cupcakes, if you can brush your teeth after that, that's a very good idea to do. Yes, and always, always, always brush your teeth right before you go to bed. That's right, always brush your teeth before you go to bed. Right, good, you were really thinking about that. Yeah, so how many times is that? Let's see, brush in the morning, that's one. One and then brush always before you go to bed. That's two. Two. Right, that's two times. And then if you can, if you have something sweet, then brush your teeth another time when you have something sweet. Three. That's right, three, three times. Three times a day, yeah. And you really should try to avoid eating too many sweet things. Yeah, I like them, but cupcakes aren't very good for you. That's right, they're not very good for you because they have a lot of sugar. So just eat them once in a while, but not all the time. Not all the time. That's right, right. I have a little song about brushing our teeth. Do you wanna do a little song? Oh, I love songs. Me too. And when we do this song, we're gonna use this giant toothbrush. Whoa, whoa, that was big. It is a big toothbrush. This is a, a pretend toothbrush. It's a little too big to fit in anybody's mouth, really. But it helps us to learn about brushing our teeth. So I'm going to use this toothbrush to pretend like I'm brushing your teeth. Is that okay, Rexy? Okay. And it's not really his toothbrush, so I'm not going to really put it in his mouth. No, I have a widower toothbrush in that. That's right. Yeah, you have one that's the right size up for your mouth, right? Yeah. Okay, and you could pretend like your finger is a toothbrush, like this. When we do this song, would you like to do that? Join in if you want to. 
Are you ready? Okay. All right, this is how the song goes. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, give your teeth a treat. Brush up and down and all around to keep them clean and neat. Brush them once, brush them twice, brush three times a day. Brush up and down and all around, keep cavities away. Oh, cavities? What are cavities? Oh, good question, Rexy. Cavities are little holes that sometimes people get in their teeth and it's because food didn't get cleaned off right away, especially sugary food or foods with acids in them. Oh no, I don't want holes in my teeth. No, you don't want holes in your teeth, but if you do get a cavity, then you need to go to the dentist and have the dentist fix it. The dentist? Why's a dentist? Oh, another good question, Rexy. A dentist is a special kind of doctor that helps to keep your teeth clean and healthy and they also know how to fix teeth. Oh, I remember the dentist. I went there once. You did go there once, Rexy, remember? Yeah, I was a little nervous. You were a little nervous right before you went, weren't you? Because you hadn't been there before. Yeah, but the dentist, she was so nice. She was very nice. Yeah, and she showed me all her tools and she had a special chair that went up and down. Oh, she did have a special chair that went up and down. And I got glasses. Oh, that's right, you had glasses on. Yeah, and she had glasses too. Yep, and she had a special thing, a little mirror on a stick. Oh yes, the little mirror. Yeah, and she told me to go, ah. That's right, you have to open your mouth really wide so the dentist can see your teeth. Yeah, and then she looked in there and she cleaned them and, and then she gave me some special toothpaste. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and she had a special buzzy toothbrush. Oh yeah, it made a little, a little buzzy sound, huh? Yeah, it tickled. It did tickle. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Rexy. Yeah, and and then my teeth were so clean. And then I had to swish some water in this little squirter thing. Oh yes, got to swish the water. Yep, and then she sucked it out. Oh, she did. Yeah, yeah. And and then and then I got to get a prize. Oh, you got to get a prize. It was a stickle. A sticker. Oh, that's a good prize. Yeah, I wore it all day. You wore it on your, on your, right there? Yep, yep, right there, yep. Wow, so it sounds like you had fun at the dentist. I did, I did, I wanna go back. Yeah, you get to go back again. Yeah, you should go to the dentist about twice a year, about every six months, yeah. And then you can have nice, clean teeth, like me. That's right. That's right, what do you use your teeth for? Oh, I use them to eat my food. You have to have healthy teeth to eat your food. Yeah, and I use them to talk. That's right, and to talk. And I use them to smile. Yeah, look at his smile, he has a nice smile. Can you show us your smile? Oh, you have a nice smile too, yeah. I remember we read a book about about how a walrus was feeling nervous like me. Oh, that's right. We read that book right before you went to the dentist. Yeah, it helped me not feel so nervous. That's right. It was a good book. Yeah, that was the book I was thinking we could read today. Do you remember the name of it, Rexy? Oh, oh, it was called Tooth Trouble. Tooth Trouble. That's right, that's the book we're gonna read today. Would you like to hear it? Would you like to hear our book? Yeah, Rexy, how about you go sit down and you can listen to the story and then the kids at home can listen to the story too. Okay, see ya. I'll get the book. Our story today is called Tooth Trouble. You can see the characters on the front of the book. What kind of animals do you think they are? 
walruses. They have tusks instead of teeth, but they're like their teeth. And they're made out of the same thing that our teeth are made out of. Tusks, and we have teeth. Tooth Trouble, written by Jane Clark, illustrated by Cecilia Johansson. Looks like Wilbur is eating something. Wilbur and his mother were crunching their way through a huge pile of shellfish. Ow, said Wilbur, my tusk hurts. Oh, you'll have to go to the dentist, said Mrs. Walrus said. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. Why do you think Wilbur doesn't want to go to the dentist? Do you think he's nervous? Maybe he's never been there before. He might be a little bit nervous. My tusk only hurts when I crunch, said Wilbur. If I take off the shells, I can just slurp them. Have some seaweed, said Mrs. Walrus. It's nice and soft. Ugh, said Wilbur. I don't want to eat seaweed. It's green and slimy. Then you'll have to go to the dentist, said Mrs. Walrus. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. I bet his mom can help him with that problem, huh? He's feeling nervous and his grown-up can help him. Wilbur's friends were tusk wrestling. Wilbur loved tusk wrestling. He locked tusks with his friend Walter. Whoomp! Ow! cried Wilbur. My tusk hurts. You'll have to go to the dentist, Walter said. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. Oh, he's still nervous. I bet Walter, his friend, has been to the dentist before. And he knows the dentist will help him. My tusk only hurts when I wrestle, said Wilbur. Let's play on the ice slide with Wanda. Whee! Wanda, Wilbur, and Walter swooped down the slide. Splash! They somersaulted into the sea. That was great. Let's do it again, Walter said. Does look like fun. Walter poked his tusks into the ice and pulled himself up onto the ice floe. Wanda poked her tusks into the ice and pulled herself up onto the ice floe. Wilbur poked his tusks into the ice, ice and, ow, yelled Wilbur, my tusk hurts. You'll have to go to the dentist, Wanda said. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. Uh-oh, he's still feeling nervous. His friends think he should go to the dentist. I'll swim to Grandpa's, Wilbur said. It's easy to get out there. He's got a landing slope. It was a long way to Grandpa's. Wilbur's tusk hurt in the cold water. He pulled himself up Grandpa's landing slope and lay there moaning. Oh, poor Wilbur. He lo looks like he's feeling pretty miserable. I bet the dentist could help him. Tusk, tusk, said Grandpa. He put his flipper around Wilbur's shoulders and helped him up onto the ice floe. What is the matter? My tusk hurts. Wilbur wailed. His whiskers quivered. You'll have to go to the dentist, Grandpa said. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Wilbur. Look, even Grandpa thinks he should go to the dentist. I'm thinking he probably should. I bet the dentist could help him get that taken care of. Grandpa smiled. Neither did I, he said. Uh-oh, look at Grandpa's tusk. He must have been nervous to go to the dentist and look what happened. He didn't take care of his tusk and it broke right off. 
just like we have to take care of our teeth. Walruses have to, these walruses had to take care of their tusks. Mrs. Walrus waddled up the landing slope toward them. Walter and Wanda said I'd find you here, she said. Is your tusk still hurting? Yes, said Wilbur. I'll have to go to the dentist. Well, finally, said Mrs. Walrus. He finally changed his mind. I bet he doesn't want a broken tusk like Grandpa. Dr. Tusker, the dentist, was very gentle. I see what the problem is, she said. You've got a piece of shell stuck in the top of your tusk. There, I've taken it out. Oh, that feels much better, said Wilbur. Oh, look, Wilbur's sitting in the dentist chair, which in this book is a shell. And Dr. Tusker, the dentist, is taking good care of him, being very gentle. If you brush your tusks twice a day with this special fish-flavored toothpaste, your tusks will be strong and shiny, said Dr. Tusker. She gave Wilbur a sticker. It said, I brush my tusks. Oh, look, he's wearing his sticker. He knows he has to take good care of his tusks now, just like we have to take good care of our teeth. Wow, said Grandpa. I wish I had tusks like yours. Dr. Tusker will make you a false tusk, said Wilbur. You'll have to go to the dentist. I don't want to go to the dentist, said Grandpa. Even grown-ups sometimes can be nervous about things. Tusk, tusk, said Wilbur. He put his flipper around Grandpa's shoulder. If I can go to the dentist, so can you. Look at that. Wilbur's helping Grandpa now. Grandpa was feeling nervous, but now he's going to go to the dentist too. Even grown-ups can be nervous about things. The end. What a good book that was. Did you notice the poster I have hanging up next to me? It says, brush every day. Did you notice this tooth here? Does this tooth look happy? No, someone forgot to brush this tooth. And it has food all over it. And I think it's going to get cavities. I think someone was drinking juice and maybe just walking around with the juice and drinking the juice all day and the tooth is going to get cavities. Oh no. But if you brush your teeth, they can be nice and clean and healthy like this happy tooth over here. This poor tooth needs a good brush job. Poor tooth. We are going to do a little science experiment. So for this experiment, I was wondering what happens to your teeth if you leave things on them? If you leave food and sugary drinks on your teeth, what happens to them? So in this experiment, I'm using eggs because I don't want my teeth to get yucky. So I'm going to use eggs instead and eggs are something yummy that you could eat, but also eggs are a little bit like teeth because they're hard on the outside where the shell is and they are often white. So we can pretend like this is the enamel or the hard part on your teeth and see what happens to an egg if you put it in different liquids. I have four different liquids that I put some eggs in. They've been sitting there overnight. I put them in there yesterday. Let's see what happens to these eggs. The first liquid that I have here is just plain old water. Just like water that you would drink. Water that you would drink. And let's see what happened to this egg. Well, hmm, what do you think? It's wet. Because water's wet. 
and hmm, feels pretty hard, looks pretty white. I think this is a pretty good egg. What do you think? Yeah, this one's in pretty good shape. Did you know drinking water is actually very good for your teeth? And you can help to rinse off your teeth, even if you can't get to a toothbrush right away. Help, water can help you rinse off your teeth and clean them off a little bit. So water is very good for your teeth. And so our egg is in good shape. Let's put that one back in. This one, I put an egg in a sugary drink. A sugary drink. Let's see what happened to this egg. Hmm. Oh my. Look at this egg. What do you think? It looks brown. I don't think I'd want my teeth to look all brown like that. And it feels kind of slimy. Ooh, I don't think I'd want my teeth to be brown and slimy like that. Sugary soda drinks can do that to your teeth. Yeah, hmm. So I guess maybe that wouldn't be a good idea to put on your teeth, huh? If you drink a sugary drink, you should make sure you brush your teeth or at least rinse with water. Hmm, let's see what this one is. This one, I put an egg in vinegar. Now we've used vinegar before. Hmm, let's see. The vinegar looks a lot like water, but ooh, smells pretty strong. Have you ever smelled vinegar before? I'm kind of wondering what's happening with this egg. I noticed this one turned brown because it's the brown sugary liquid and it felt kind of slimy. Look at this egg. It's got some bubbles all over it. Hmm, let's see what happened to this egg. Oh, this egg is, oh, this egg is very slimy and oh no, it's squishy. The shell is gone. Uh-oh, I don't think I'd want my teeth to be squishy, would you? Ooh, vinegar has an, is an acid, and then a lot of the foods that we eat have acids in them. So that's why it's really important to brush your teeth. Would you want your teeth to be all squishy? I don't think I would. Hmm. Okay, let me wipe my fingers off on that. Let's see what else we have. Hmm. This one here, I put this egg in juice and grape juice. Grape juice smells, tastes good, but grape juice can be pretty sugary too. So can apple juice or orange juice. Juices can have a lot of sugar in them. So I'm kind of wondering. I noticed that this one turned brown. This one looks very dark too. It's actually very dark purple, but it's almost hard to tell. It almost looks black in there, doesn't it? What do you think? What do you think was going to happen to this egg that's in the grape juice? Hmm, kind of wondering, are you ready to see? You ready to see? Let's see what happened to this egg. Oh no, oh my goodness. It turned very, very dark purple. Uh-oh, I don't think I'd want my teeth to look like that, would you? No. You can see one spot where the egg was above the water right there, and it stayed a little bit white right there. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything we could do to help this egg. I'm wondering what would happen if maybe we tried brushing it with a toothbrush? Because if we get juice on our teeth, we brush them with a toothbrush and toothpaste. What do you think will happen if we try brushing this egg with a toothbrush and toothpaste. Hmm, kind of wondering. I've got a toothbrush and some toothpaste. Let's do that. Just like when you brush your teeth. And I also have a little bowl of water, kind of like when you're at your, your house and your sink. I'm gonna move these over so we can kind of see what we're doing here. Let's see if we try brushing this dark purple egg from the juice 
and see if we can get some of that off of there. What do you think? Let's see. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Oh, look at that. Give your teeth a treat. Brush up and down and all around. Let's see, what do you think? What is happening to that part of the egg? Can you see the color is starting to come off? Let's try rinsing it off a little bit and see if maybe we got that part of the egg a little bit cleaner. We did. Look at that. So if you brush your teeth, you can get them a lot cleaner. Now it still doesn't look quite as white right there as this egg because we did leave it and I left it in juice overnight. That's why you don't want to walk around drinking juice all day long because then it just sits on your teeth and it can make your teeth get cavities and get rotten spots. And you don't want that to happen to your teeth. Then you might need to go to a dentist for help. So if you take your teeth, if you drink some juice and you brush your teeth after you drink the juice, then your teeth will be much, much cleaner. You could try this experiment at home and try putting eggs in different liquids to see overnight, to see what would happen with different liquids that you like to drink if you didn't brush your teeth. And then try brushing it off. You might wanna try that at home for at home activity. And grownups, you can find details about this activity at wqln.org on the internet. When you brush your teeth, you want to make sure that you don't just brush in one spot, you have to brush all around your teeth. So you wanna brush your teeth on the outside, and I'm gonna show you with my tooth model and my big toothbrush. You wanna brush on the outside of your teeth. You want to brush on the inside of your teeth and you should brush for a long time, like about two minutes. It might be fun to do a song while you brush. You want to brush way in the back, way in the back on the bottom, and way in the back on the top. And you wanna brush behind your front teeth. That's a spot that a lot of people miss. Get behind those front teeth on the top and the bottom. And the last thing, is you wanna make sure you brush your tongue, your tongue, because you don't wanna have dragon breath. Now, Rexy, we have a good idea of how to keep our teeth clean and healthy. We sure do. Do you think we could sing that song one more time? Sure we could. How about this time, though? We do a little moving with the song. Would you like to do that? Yeah, how about when we do up and down and all around, I could jump. Good idea. When we do the part where it says up and down and all around, could you jump up and down and all around with Rexy? Are you ready? Stand up. Okay. Ready? Get out your pretend toothbrush. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Give your teeth a treat. Are you ready? Brush up and down and all around to keep them clean and neat. Brush them once, brush them twice, brush three times a day. Are you ready? Brush up and down and all around, keep cavities away. Yay! Wow, you did a great job. Remember to keep those teeth clean and healthy and brush them every day. Yeah, just like me. That's right. And remember, keep reading, keep learning, and keep watching WQLN PBS, where learning is brought to life. See you next time. Bye.